When somebody gives you the job, make me the best you can, and these are the rules, you really have to try and push it to the edge of these rules. We've got this idea for a new bike for the Olympics. It looks different than all the bikes you've seen in the last 10 years. This blows them straight out of the water. The Hope bike, the HPT, is significantly faster. The Hope bike is actually very light. It's the stiffest bike I've ever ridden, and it's quick as well. Olympic athletes invest everything in pushing the limits of human ability. The same effort is applied to developing the bike tech used by these riders. Team GB have earned a reputation for riding some of the most cutting edge bikes in the world. But as the UCI regulations change, suddenly every bike the British Cycling was riding was illegal. How could we go on and make a better bike than what we had before? We needed a manufacturer who could make the bike to a very high standard. Anything cycling, and we want to be involved in it, that's the thing. We were making mountain bikes before. Can we make a bike like this? Oh, well, where are we going? It looks a bit chaotic. I can barely hear myself think. So the first few frames is always a bit of head scratching. And we said, just give us a shape, we'll have a go at it, and we'll make something. We knew it was not what they wanted. Oh, that's pretty out there. It was completely wrong shape. <laughs> Crikey, I've got a lot to learn here as well. I thought we need a bit more help here. We were again a non-bike company coming to the party. We came to a little bit of an altercation towards the actual launch of the bike. This wasn't about taking over in any way, shape or form. I hope that all this work will lead to medals at the Olympics. I think this is going to be the toughest Olympics in 16, 17 years. This is war.